Hello, I welcome you back to this wonderful lesson where we are going to revise through these important questions that don't miss in an exam. So these are predictions that will help you understand the matrices when they come in an exam, which you know that definitely these don't miss. So now, how do we answer these particular questions? I'm going to be very brief, slow as possible so that you get to hear what I will be saying. Given that the determinant of matrix A, this is matrix A, is negative 2. Find first question the value of x to inverse of A. We've got this other question that is saying given that A is equal to this and uh, B is equal to that. Then the first question is saying if A is equal to B squared, find the value of x and y. Hence, find the inverse of A. These are the two questions that will help you understand the matrices. After this, make sure that uh, you are able to answer any question that will come in an exam. Straight away, we go to the first question. How do we answer the first question? You know that this diagonal that is like this, this is called the major diagonal. So we call that as the major diagonal. This one here, this is the minor diagonal. So for us to find the value of x, what you are going to do is that we multiply what is in the major diagonal. So what are we having in the major diagonal? We are having 3. Since those are two terms, so we say x plus 2. This is what I'm going to do. Then I say minus. Minus what? Minor diagonal. There is a 2 there. Those are two terms. I put them in the brackets where I'm going to say that x plus what? x plus 3 which is equal to the determinant that is given. So what is the determinant? Determinant is negative 2. This is what you are supposed to do each time you are told to answer that particular question. So here you start multiplying. This one has now become an equation. So I guess we know how to answer equations. 3 times x, that is 3x, plus 3 times 2, that is 6. Negative 2 times x, that is negative 2x. Negative 2 times positive 3, that is negative 6, which is equal to negative 2. So what are you going to do from here now? So what you are going to do is where you group the like terms together and solve the equation. So what you are going to have here, you group the like terms. You are going to have 3x minus 2x, which is equal to negative 2 is already there. This is uh, negative when it comes inside it becomes positive when this one comes inside it becomes negative this is what is happening so 3x minus 2x it is 1x but we can't say 1x we just say x which is equal to so 6 minus 6 this is just a 0 you mean with a negative 2 so meaning that this is the what this is the answer that we find x is equal to what x is equal to negative 2. This is the value for x. The next question is telling us to say, find the inverse of a. How do we find the inverse of a? So we are told to find the inverse of a. How can we find the inverse of a? Matrix a is equal to, so matrix a is what? Where there is x, we shall put negative 2. The value that we found, we know that x, we found the value of x to be negative 2. So this is to tell you that where there is x, we shall put negative 2. So there where there is x, negative 2 plus 2, that is a 0 there. We've got a 2 down. Negative 2 plus 3. Where there is x, I'm putting negative 2 because I know the value of x that it is negative 2. Negative 2 plus 3, that is a 1. So I put a 1 there, then a 3 down here. This is what I'm going to do. So after writing something like this, then I'm told to find the inverse. How do you find the inverse? So I'll say A inverse negative 1. Power negative 1, we say this is equal to, we say 1 over the determinant. This is the formula we use. Then the matrix is 0, 2, 1, 3. This is the matrix that is there. So what gets to happen is that, Whenever you are finding the inverse, you shall say A inverse is equal to 1 over. What is the determinant? We were given in the question that determinant was negative 2. 
This is not to say all oh, the determinant will be negative too, no. It depends with how the question is. What happens is that the major diagonal, this is the major diagonal, positions are going to swap. The 3 goes on top, the 0 comes down. Then what will happen in the minor diagonal, signs will change. This one is a positive, so it becomes a negative. If it was a negative, it becomes a positive. This is positive, it becomes a negative. If it was negative, it becomes a positive. Uh, if it was negative, it becomes a positive. It, if it was positive, it becomes negative. So meaning that this is the inverse. For now, I'm going to end here. Then I'm going to show you another way in which you can find the inverse, where you can now further simplify this, where you get to multiply this with what is inside. So I'll do that on that one. But if you want, you can end here. There is no problem. So this is also an answer. If you don't know how to feather this, how to simplify feather, it is better you just end here. There is no problem. We now go to the next question. This is the question that is here. The question that uh, we are told here, that telling us that A is equal to B T, B to the power T. So I always tell you that B to the power T, that is the transpose. So matrix A, we are given that matrix 2X then 2 there, we've got 1 and y there, is equal to the transpose of b. This is b. So when we transpose b, what we are going to have, where this row becomes a column. Have you seen? This is a row, it will become a column. So negative 6 and a 2 there. Then this is 1 and 3. This is what is going to happen. Row, rows become columns, columns become rows. This is what happens. So what I'm going to do now, I just equate. The first one here goes with the first one that is there. So meaning that 2x is equal to what? Negative 6. I divide both sides by 2. I divide both sides by 2. Where this, this will cancel out. I'm going to have x, which is equal to what? Negative 3. This is the value for x. How about the value for y? I know this is y, the second one. So even that one, y is also equal to what? 3. y is equal to what? y is equal to 3. So there is no need of solving that much on those questions. This is what we are supposed to do. So these, these are the values. Then we are taught to find the inverse of A. Matrix A, this is matrix A. How do you find the inverse? You, you know that A is equal to, matrix A is equal to what? What is x? x is negative 3. So 2 times negative 3, you get negative 6 there. We've got 2, we've got 1. What is y? y is 3. I put a 3 there. So the first thing I need to do is to find the determinant. How do we find the determinant? I say determinant is equal to, I multiply major diagonal negative 6 times 3 minus minor diagonal 2 times 1. This is what I'm doing. What am I going to do there? I'm going to say, okay, the answer there is negative 18 minus 2. Then the answer is going to be what? Negative 20. This is the what? This is the determinant. So since this is the determinant, for me to find the inverse, I'm just going to do A inverse is equal to 1 over the determinant, which is negative 20. I do this. Where I'm going to say, okay, what will happen to the my major diagonal positions are going to swap? 6 goes down, 3 on top. This is what has happened. These signs are going to change. This one becomes negative 2. This one becomes negative 1. So signs get to change. So meaning that this is the what? This is the answer that you get. So don't forget, this is a Twitter Addison Jesuru and... Uh, I've got a tuition center called Arizonite Academy. We get to offer online lessons and uh, physical lessons. So I'm a full-time online tutor. Those of you that could like to join me, this is my number. You can WhatsApp me on this same number if you want to join my online academy. Thank you so much. So now, I was uh, explaining about this. I said that you can further simplify this where you say that okay this can also be an answer where you say this is equal to what 
1 times 3, you say 3 over what? 3 over 20. Then 1 times negative 1, it is negative 1 over negative 20. Even here, put negative 20. 1 times negative 2, negative 2 over negative 20. Even here, 1 times negative 6, negative 6 over negative 20. So from there now, what I'm going to do is that A inverse is equal to now, where I say the answer, which number can go into 3 and 20, nothing. So the negative just go on top, negative 3 over what, 20. 2 there, it is 1. 2 there, it is 10. Negative, negative cancelled. So it's just 1 over what, 1 over 10. There, negative, negative cancelled. So it's 1 over 20. Then which number can go in both 2? 2 into 6, 3. 2 into 20, 10. Negative, negative cancelled. So I'm going to have 3 over what, 10. So this is the answer that I'm going to have. So this is the answer. You can now conclude from here. This is the answer that you can get. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share this particular video. Stay blessed.